Ethan, how, uh, how important is a, a series whitewash to the team? Yeah, really important. I think um, it'd be momentum heading into the T20 World Cup. Um, I don't think we've had a whitewash against the Kiwis in a very long time, so it's something we're looking to do. Um, notoriously, a batter's paradise out here. How are you going to attack it? <laughs> um, I'd like to not go for 40 off my four overs this time. Um, last time I was here, not the best memory. So, um, I don't know, I'll try and do what I do best, and that's the slow balls and try and pin it back as much as I can. Is that the key to success out here, the change of pace and the variation? I think so. Nothing else seems to work, especially for pace bowlers, so you've got to try what you can. Yeah, it's huge. I think, um, as I said, the momentum heading forward is really important, but I think just confidence base for the girls to keep going out and playing the fearless cricket that we really want to do. Is there something you can put your finger on it why you've turned it around against New Zealand this time? I don't know. I think we've just got our formula right at the minute. Um, when you look out our batting lineup it's pretty incredible to be honest and something we've spoken about over the last few months was playing fearless cricket and we're coming out and doing that and it's coming off. You've had two really great, really good performances, but do you feel like you've really nailed your game plans so far? Um, I still think there's some areas we could work on. I think that would probably be today's focus is a little bit more fielding, myself included. So um, obviously there's ways to improve in every single match, but for now I think the batting's coming off pretty well. Have you, have you, have you taken away you know, improvements in your bowling, particularly from, from the first two games? Um, not really. I think on the day it's kind of how it comes off. Um, you know, you get luck sometimes, and yesterday I had a little bit of, well, the other day I had a little bit of luck as well, so it's just T20 cricket. Um, and so, so what's, what's, the, what's the key to, to, to getting the whitewash on Friday night? Pretty much saying that playing the same kind of cricket, that fearless cricket, and I think if we come out, as we said, on the batter's paradise, um, it'll be a good shot for that. A bit of rain might spice things up, hoping for that. Well, it's already cold, so you might as well add in some rain there and just add all the elements and make it a bit of fun. Uh, new Cricket, cricket Australia CEO today. Have the, have the playing group got any um, concerns with Kevin Roberts having been so front and centre in the MAU um, negotiations? Are there any thoughts from that, from that sort of angle? You are definitely asking the wrong person there. Um, <laughs> we just came straight from a gym session, so I haven't even seen that Kevin Roberts has gone through, so congrats to him. <laughs> but nothing from the Players Association? Nothing like so that. far, no. Uh, you've played with and against a lot of the New Zealand players. You've taken a, a, a number of wickets this series. Is there a player that you enjoy getting out the most? <laughs> Sophie Devine, I love getting myself a strikers player out. Um, obviously she's a key wicket, but it's bragging rights as well. We cross each other a bit throughout the season, so um, yeah, just one up on her. And, and Lottie said that Taylor's poised to make her debut on, on Friday, and if it does happen, what does she bring with the ball? Oh, pace. Um, she's probably got about 10, 15 clicks on me, which isn't hard, but um, no, she's a great young kid. Um, bit of a different action too. I think she's quite hard to actually pick up the ball. Um, but other than that, she just brings heat and obviously a fresh young face. It's nice. How impressed have you been with the crowds that rocked up in Sydney and, and Brisbane? What are you hoping for, for Canberra? Hoping for the same thing here in Canberra, of course. To have over 2,000 each game has been awesome. The atmosphere, I think, at the grounds we play at is really incredible and it helps us play the kind of cricket that we want to.